Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales. We're still in the Rue Woods, as it is called, and we're gonna head straight in with another monster battle. Standard one this time. Falling blows. The lumberjack trade is not a safe one. First of all, unfortunate accidents are an unfortunate expectation. Second, the sound of axe striking trunks echoes a great distance. Beasts, it turns out, have sensitive hearing and insatiable appetites. So standard battle, and yeah, let's just head straight in. So we're pretty much used to these by now, so let's just uh, start with the drummer this time, and no, wait, you know what? Let's start with the grey rider. I live to serve you. And then we'll play the drummer who gets boosted. There we go. What was the big deal? There's already another Gleshen over there. Left, right. Like this, left, and then the third. Right. An alpha wolf. Uh, this crazed warrior over here. Let's spray the drummer. And that's not gonna be much, is it? Stop your yapping the sapper. Digging. Just kill another wolf. Might as well pull that sapper back. Don't have much use for it anyway. Yeah, Arnulf and the war wagon. Arnulf over here. And war wagon over here. There we go. Some more wolves where that came from. Then let's double up on the... As you wish, my lady. Disgraced warriors. So that boosts that. Then we can... Hmm, we can do four damage. Which then is not going to be enough for me to kill the Leshen, but it's close. And that's basically the end of the turn already. Well, thank you. There we go, one wolf down. And the Leshen down. And it consumes, of course, another wolf. Uh, let's use the Forager over here. Just take the whole finger. And then Arniolf on one of the armored wolves, taking that out. And that's already the end of our turn. There's a lot of wolves where that came from. Uh, let's use blood. And... Use the disgraced warrior and the harsh took. There we go. Disgraced warrior over here. Waiting for a personal invitation. And then the hushduk in between here. Uh, forty and upwards, right? Then use the forager over here. Then use Arnulf on that one wolf, taking it out. Then the drummer with the last me! And another Without grey rider. Damage on the same amount. Yeah, let's just keep it like that. And he passed. Okay, let's pass as well then, because we won that first round easily. So I'm supposing we'll be able to uh, finish this up rather quickly again. So uh, see you guys in a second. So making short work of the monsters, and we're gonna use Doglord to start playing everything that's in our graveyard. Wanna know? Which is about five units at the moment. There we go. The other side of the field is cleared out completely, so I don't think we'll have much trouble with this. More wolves. But again, mostly monsters apparently. Well, mostly bears and stuff like that. Um, let's start off with two damage on the bear. Then two times three like this. Then we damage the Savage Bear with our Rivian Onager. And... Use the Disgraced Brawler next. Because <laughs> right now our Warriors aren't high enough to do anything with, so I'm just going to keep them on the field like that. Oh, snap. Ingvar, boost each damage ally by two and damage each damage enemy by two. Fair enough. Just gonna damage that bear again. Um, then... 
these two by three. And now we can take out the savage bear. Like this. Then the war wagon, well the Wagenberg preferably over here. Which can do four damage on the entire row. And we can technically also take out the alpha wolf. There we go. And turn. Almost there. Almost there. So let's use Meave's ability. Pull back the disgraced brawler. Isbel. And another forager, I think. Yeah. The forage Isbel goes over here. When will you and the forager over end? here. So the forager can take out the these two disgraced warrior, which will boost all our Skellige units. There we go. And we get two more charges with the Onager as well. Which means we can damage the ghoul twice to get the armor gone and then use Arnulf on Ingvar and the Spaced Warrior on the ghoul. Like this. We can then use uh, Marching Orders and use Meave again by taking away the War Wagon. That gives me six units on that row, so I think that's going to be enough for another War Wagon combination. Yeah, War Wagon and Rivian Sapper combination. So War Wagon over here. Carny battles. Hungry like a wolf. And Rivian Sapper. Which will be able to destroy the light infantry units. And then damage on Ingvar. Taken out. So yeah, we kind of have a lot of damage still left on the field, but we're forced to pass. Which will probably be enough, I suppose. That was a lot, and I didn't even use Isbel, sadly. But I think we got this, right? There we go. A lot of area of effect attacks, but uh, nothing we can't handle. And there we go, more scrubs for us to pick up. So after that, we can move back. We can maybe talk to these guys after we've killed the Lesh and we didn't do that. Oh, and before I forget, we need to have a little look at this because I never <laughs> added uh, Raynard again. And Raynard now does give one charge to units with depleted order ability. Oh, and Loyal repeats that deploy ability again. He is... Yeah, that is OP. That is ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, that is, that is completely ridiculous. Okay, fair enough. And I've removed the Lance Knacked and added another Onager and Blacksmith. We'll see how that fares. I think that's our, those are our most powerful combos. So, uh, and even Granny Blade is still going to be our main use anyway. So, uh, there we go. There's also new stuff in the mess tent. So, let's have a little chat with everybody over here. Starting with Ick. Your Grace. So, indeed, Witchers aren't to be trusted. You were right. Witchers aren't to be trusted. I conferred upon Geralt a title, awarded in pay, yet he abandoned me and this army. Honor they recognize not at all, adhering only to their guild's code, or a horde of excuses, rather. Kill no beast which shows sentience and poses no threat. Utter flimflam, your grace. Though do forgive me the vulgarity. Every beast poses a threat. If it has yet to strike, changes naught. To wait till innocent blood is shed? Madness. One must preempt, forestall, wipe the world clean of the filth for all time. Okay. Some monsters live in harmony with humans. I couldn't agree more. Let's just agree for his sake. I have difficulty disagreeing with your reasoning, Sir Ake. So, uh, you disobeyed my orders, though. Sir Ake. You disobeyed my order. Yes, but... There are no bots. The words of the Queen are not verses from the good book to be interpreted as you see fit. They are to be heeded by all, unconditionally. Okay, just be careful, Meave. I don't want to lose Ake now. Your Majesty, when your force I joined, I made clear I'd swear no oath of allegiance to you. For this I'd sworn already to the gods and to scripture as contained in the good book. I abet you in your fight against Nilfgaard willingly, because this immoral empire has demonstrated injustice profound. But this does not mean I can turn a blind eye to trespasses on your part, nor that I shan't try to correct them. Okay, you're right. All true. 
Such was our accord. I must respect it, I haven't a choice. I thank you, Your Majesty. Many wander, go astray. Precious few acknowledge it. So, you could just send them away with them right there. Who does that? I wonder. How many people have done that? So thank you, Ake. Farewell, Ake. Uh, then we have... Nobody else needs to talk, apparently, aside from Barnabas. Oh, look at Nickers just looking at where Gabor used to be. Oh, And of course, Xavier also gone. You need my help with anything? So, where are you traveling to? Long you've traveled, Barnabas. The wonders you must have seen. Likely visited many exotic lands before you reached Mahakam. Oh, Kovia, yes. Matina, yes. Nazir, Dabli. Zerikania, God, yes. And Korath, even. I mean, such beauty there, though. Hot. Oh, dreadfully so. Horrible place to grow turnips, if you've ever a mind to try. Novigrad. Lived there a spell as well, but I didn't much care for it. Why ever not? The Hierarch. Intractable man. Banned one of my inventions. Condemned it as unholy, vile, etc., etc. Decided he would burn both of us at the stake. As you can imagine, we had a difference of opinion in that regard. <laughs> Perhaps I shall regret this, but... Do tell, what was the thing you created exactly? <laughs> I knew you'd be interested. You've a curious mind, dear Queen. We're two peas of a feather. Quite the clever contraption it was. Made for a widow, wealthy, but aching with longing. Oh In no. Her husband's absence. Oh no. By oh no. Unfulfilled needs. No, we don't want to know. Stop right yeah, there. Stop right there, indeed. I'd regret asking. <laughs> He made a sex lol. <laughs> and see, it had this special crank that when rotated. <laughs> Stop, Barnabas. Barnabas, no, enough. <laughs> As you command, Your Majesty. But if you ever get the urge to see it, I have the prototype still tucked away in my trunk. <laughs> How? Why? Noted. But by the gods, please, let's change the subject. Ah, oh, Barnabas. Time I attended to other matters. Never change, buddy. Okay, and with that done, we will be able to move forward, I suppose. Do we need to talk to you again? We told? Yeah, okay, we told, but it was unwise to venture into the woods, but we were, we were really happy that the North Guardians were slaughtered by a woodland spirit. Okay, let's cross our first bridge here. And, oh, this, mm. this looks like... A robust rain, hither comes. Hmm. Is it buried over here somewhere, the treasure? No, we can't do anything over there. This looks like the map, although the towers are a bit different. So yeah, it's not this, clearly. Um, there's an elf guardian over here asking questions. Hello. My queen, the village has been slaughtered to the last, not a soul remaining. That is, save for a few elf guardians. They claim to have arrived only recently in order to learn the fate of their collector. He had arrived in the village a few days past and has since vanished without a trace. What shall we do with the Black Plats? They've offered to buy their freedom. Their release, however, may lead to unrest with our soldiers. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't, I don't want to see any of those in my army. So have them shackled and bound as the music swells again. Thank you, music, for acknowledging my heroic deeds. Let's check the map. A heroic map at that. With swelling music. I love the background music here. I said that before, but if the map wants to cooperate... Yeah, there we go. Okay, it seems like that is actually leading up to a dead end. So might as well want to check that out first. Do, do, do. Trebuchets. Left behind war machines, but they seem to have been destroyed. So either they are ours, or they were ours. Or they're not. More graves, but this seems to be going, right? Yeah, it's still going. Still going. And there's a puzzle battle. There's a puzzle battle here. And a chest. Yes, chest. But the rest seems to be collapsed, so... Let's take a look at the chest first. And that is... Ooh. Reload the save file by logged in to receive your rewards. Ah. But, uh, why am I not logged in? Never mind, it's a really cool border, though. But uh, let's head into that puzzle. Oh, no, no, wait, wait, resources. I saw the resources. There they are. And let's check out this cave for another puzzle battle. 
right over here. Hair Caverns. Neve's unit was situated near a deep cave known by locals as Hair Caverns. Perhaps the harmless rodents truly lived there once, in any case another beast now calls the cave home. A beast who prefers a slab of beef atop its bed of lettuce and carrots. Combine at least three identical cards to in order to dam- wait. Three identical cards in order to damage the wyvern, use your leader's ability. Okay, fair enough. Okay, this card cannot be played. And we need to damage the wyvern. Damage self by the amount destroyed. Okay, and what can Meave do? Move a card to an adjacent vertical or horizontal position. Is that... Destroy them and spawn a random card in their position. Um... Like this? Yeah, like this. Okay. That gets us another combination. Another combination. Um, okay. Then this with the top one. Blammo! Isn't this pure luck? Just the blind fact that we're just combining them willy-nilly. Especially if it's random. So let's just use that on this. And then like this, I suppose. And it's done. That didn't seem like it was hard. We just played a match three game in Gwent. In Thronebreaker, that is. Fair enough. Nothing else to see here, I suppose. So moving back south, we have this large Nilf Guardian encampment. So let's, uh, ooh, letter. Rivians, I, Queen Meave, hereby proclaim that upon regaining our homeland, I shall immediately seize all production within local workshops and forges. All goods thereafter shall be imported from our comrades' workshops in Mahakam. As you are well aware, dwarf and dwarf craftsmanship has consistently demonstrated undeniable superiority and quality over domestic goods. Yeah, definitely more anti me propaganda. Let's knock at this door. Garado Bar. Meave arrived at the walls of Gradobor, famed for fine rugs and woven tapestries. The city's artisans had been at work, no doubt pressed by the Nilf Guardians, for atop the tallest spire, that of the town hall, flapped a lustrous ebony flag a sun of golden threads at its center. So vast was the banner, Gascon whistled in admiration. <whistles> Gotta admit, the black clads certainly have panache. And a vast and powerful army, I'd remind you, Reynard interjected. Arbalists line the walls, that stench in the air, hot tar. And our scouts claim the black clads stand armed to the hilt with the best Mahakam has to offer. Victory's not likely to come cheap, I fear. Okay, order the assault on Gradobar. No cost is too high, said Meave, a hardness in her voice. Reynard, Gascon, ready our men to attack. The Lyrians needed no more encouragement. Since arriving, they had reveled in anticipation of taking the city, then ripping the banner from its spire. Here we go. As a one round or two shortened battle, the siege of Gradobor, Meave instructed Reynard to personally command the catapults and ballistae during the siege. After all, they were attacking their own city. Any missile of its mark would fall upon the heads of the Queen's own subjects, and they have suffered enough in this war. So short and battle should be able to do this rather quickly then, depending on the setup. So we have a wall. It will be difficult, Your Grace. The walls are strong. Okay, there we go. So we start off with a wall. Uh, permanent resilience, but we can take that out, I think. So we have multiple war wagons. So let's play those first. Can't take any more. And then we can re pull that back. Ah! And play two more of those, maybe? So both of the Arathusa adapts. I'm gonna put uh, both of them. As you wish, my lady. Uh, war wagon. And we need four places with. Yeah, so like this. Oh, oh, Lady Margarita told us of this. And more war wagons. There we go. Um, and the third. Ah! 
There we go, six damage on the wall. And more red action from. There we go. We go for the Rivian on the chip, that's not gonna be good enough, I think. So let's just play another war wagon. Uh, although I don't want to have that war wagon killed. So let's start off with the drummer. Then the regiment drummer with Barnabas. Pam, not supposed to be any smoke. Draw and play two blitz units from your deck. Yes, yes please. That's Reynard. Reynard is always nice. So let's have Reynard be set over here. Her Majesty knows what she's doing. And another drummer over here. Oh, waste of time for one like me. And then let's use the drummer again to have the Grey Rider. Hesitation. And then two times the damage on that one enforcer. And the turn. Someone's opening the gate. Okay. Forward, march. There goes the gate. That boots all our units. How did that happen? Maybe that's Captain Tobias. And they're of course focusing on the onager. They're really scared of that. Then now it's high time we start using our war wagons and filling up Going the place a bit. Hungry like a wolf, I am. Another re regiment drummer with a disgraced warrior. As today the day. And then the turn. Ah, we lose the Rivian Onager. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, let's use blood first then. Want to see what else we have. We have reinforcements. Gonna have to be careful with that, but I need to play it. Um, forager and reinforcements. So sadly, I can't use the forager immediately. But that gives me the space to use reinforcements on the war wagon. Although I could just use it on the drummer as well. Or the forager. Drummer might be better. Put that one over Left, here. Right. Left, right. And use the forager to take out two light infantry units. Um, and use the disgraced warrior to damage that one veteran. Like that, and the turn. And with Reynard on the field, we can continuously play our uh, abilities. Not like that, of course. Now, the Vana runestone on... You know what? Let's first use Meave. Wait, 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 wait. I need to do this in order. First, use the Regiment Drummer. That gives us another Slinger. And the Slinger can damage those... Uh, armor dudes, I guess. Then we use Meave to pull back the disgraced warrior. And then play the Rivian Onager and the Wagenberg. The Rivian Onager can go over here. So the Wagenberg has the space to place the light infantry units. Then damage up the dudes again, like this, and then use the forager to take the light infantry unit and the slinger. We use the Rivian onager to take out two bits of armor and one arbalest. Use the uh, marching orders. Then play the regiment drummer again for <laughs> that one. Regiment drummer again for the Artusa adapts, which is gonna <sighs> give us more. Yeah, do I pay off these school loans? Um, hmm. More war wagons. It's gonna be a bit too much, I think. Maybe more drummers. Then we can use Meave to replay. Um, let's pull back. What could we pull back? We could pull back Barnabas. 
and then play the Pitfall Trap and the Rivian Sapper. Pitfall Trap goes in the back and the Rivian Sapper goes over here. Don't you worry yourself, you Grace. We'll get a dirty gun, Jack. And kill the light infantry units. And the black infantry. There we go. Taking care of business. Then the Rivian Onager will be able to play that off against the Arbalests. Taking care of that. And then maybe a bit on that. Just to not waste damage. Play the Regiment Drummer once with Egg. Prepare to fight if you've any honor. And then we can use the, the drummer to get another displaced warrior. And I'm gonna use the forager to destroy those. And take more pot shots at the Nilf Guardians like that. Just to make a bit more space. Life is mine now. Now. We can use the blacksmith in a second, but I think the best way of doing this now is to just use the Divana Runestone on the Disgraced Warrior, although we only have two more spaces there. Ah, fair enough. That's up to 20. So if I use the Rivian Onager to damage the Arbalests, we get that. Then the Disgraced Warrior can damage him by 9. And then the turn. We won't be able to use Meave again. They're just focusing on Egg, who has the biggest effect, but uh, it's not really that good of a, an option. Um, I think reducing Meave's cooldown again is probably the best option. Because that also triggers Raynard again. Um, but let's end the turn for now. This is going to give us a benefit if we just save up me for the last bout. Nice choice. We can use the Lirian Hashtuk to put that in between Life here. Me now here I'm marching proud. Then use me Van Granny Blade to pull back the Disgraced Warrior. <laughs> then we can use Isbel and that same Disgraced Warrior maybe? Oh no, Arnjolf. Arnulf. So let's put um, Isabel over here. When will you ever learn? And Arnulf over here. Watches away all shame. And let's just damage away. And play the Regiment Drummer with the. Ha, huh, interesting. The Wagenberg. You can use that to take care of this row and armor. And then we can use the, riv the Forager to take those two units. And damage a bit more stuff over here. And we have another Blitz unit. <laughs> it's oh no. <laughs> Dagur. And there they go. Because I don't have the space anymore. So the Arbalest is going to damage Isbel probably. Ooh, that's a lot. Oh no, they keep going for Egg. Which is fine by me. Um, Isbel Destroyer. Kablamo. Should have used Arniel first, but... Uh, then three on that guy. And two times three on those guys. And that's it, because I can't play the Sapper. Okay. And we're done. Don't think he'll... Uh, Got 300 points in two turns. The amount of allies has uh, reduced I immensely as well. You. Not bad. Not bad, it's but... Uh... Okay, then. Oh, come on. Ah, this is going to take a while. Are you done? Yes. Oh, my fucking god. Yeah, this keeps going, doesn't it? How many does he have? I can't see his graveyard right now. Is this starting to get a bit ridiculous? Because he can do 10 times every time with his leader ability. 10 yes. damage. 
Oh, finally. That was enough. Thank you. Victory, your grace. The city is ours. Indeed it is. The battle for Gradobor was a hard fight, though not quite as hard as most had thought it might be. During the assault, at its critical juncture, a blow fell from the blue. The unlikely heroes, merchants and burghers brought together by the city's guilds. A wave of them, all riled, swarmed the blackclads at the gates and opened them wide to let Lyria in. Onward! Follow me! As fighting died down around the city, Meave rode for the town hall on a personal quest. Nilfgaard's vast, garish banner rippled overhead. With its halyard cut, it plunged like a great black bird, stricken. It was the last any would see of the Golden Sun over Gradobor. Three cheers! Hip, hip, hooray! The Lyrians were victorious, though not without aid. Meave met with the merchants who had roused the townsfolk, inspired them to rise up and fight. Many of my soldiers, dozens, perhaps hundreds, owe you their lives today, said the Queen. For that I am deeply grateful. No, deeply indebted. Should you know a way I might repay the debt, don't for a moment hesitate to ask. The merchants exchanged glances, nodded, grunted, agreed with each other without uttering a word. Then one, a clothfuller, his moustache most robust, stepped forth, bowed low, and spoke for them all. Your Majesty, the invaders brought laws, laws what don't agree with customs we've long held. Non-humans they forced us to accept. Let them join our guilds, sit on the city council. It's right ridiculous it is. These treacherous dwarves, why, they've been on their side from the start, so it's no wonder. But, well, the Nilfgaardian reforms, we'd like you to revoke them. Non-humans must know their place. An awkward silence ensued. All turned their eyes to the Queen, awaiting her response. Well, we're not going to change now, buddy. We've been helping out elves and dwarves as much as we could in this playthrough, so... Um, keep the Nilfgaardian reforms in place. I agree. Non-humans must know their place, began the Queen. So listen closely, all. Whether elf, dwarf, gnome or human, it matters not. My subjects are equal. Your Grace, you said it thy son. Were it not for us... My troops would have died, true. Yet among the dead, there'd have been dwarves of Mahakam, I've no doubt. Dwarves who agreed to fight by my side when none believed I could prevail. There we go. I feel like we might have lost those dwarves if we didn't do this. The tradesman huffed, the tradesman puffed. Meave silenced them with a firm swipe of her hand. She left Gradabor that very day, furious at the city's merchants for their bigotry, and irked at an unpleasant truth, that even the vile Nilfgaardians occasionally got something right. Indeed they did. And that's it for Gradobor. We didn't lose morale in the slightest, but we might have a dwarf here that likes us now. <laughs> Beautifully knocked those racist knoblickers do not pig! Here, here, dear queen. <laughs> Indeed, we did. <laughs> okay. Glad you like that. Oh, we got a lot of stuff from this. I thought we might have might have been able to help them with some funds or wood, because I have plenty of that. If they need that, we can help them out with that. Then we have a notice board with yeah some more resources and battles strewn around the place, so we still have our work cut out for us. But we're starting to get done with the first part of Lyria, which is ni uh, Rivia, which is nice. What is it you want to say, buddy? Dwarves don't let humans. Okay, okay, you're all mad. I get it, I get it. But with that, I'm gonna take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and uh, well, hope to see you guys in the next episode of Thronebreaker: The Witcher Tales. Goodbye. And I still can't get enough of that music. Goddamn. Goodbye, everybody.